Ladies and gentlemen, your attention Striding please. in, Jake Bauer. He looked to bounce back man. after striking out Number his last 16. time up. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets to two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Here comes the first pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Frazier has a play. One down. Randall Britcher will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number 15, Randall Britcher. Skied into very shallow right. And the pinch hitter will not be able to advance the cause, and there are two away now. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Carlos Esparza. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Ball one to start the at bat. Two balls and no strikes. Two and one now to the tribe's leadoff man. Now the two one pitch. And that's taken for strike two as now they're down to their final strike here this afternoon. Last strike now for Cleveland. Swing and a miss. He struck him out and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. The final one. Your attention, please. Striding into the box, Felix De Los Santos. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Rosario's got it. And there's one gone to start the bottom of the ninth. Standing in, DJ Stewart. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Oof, and it's safe to say he doesn't look all that comfortable up there. 0-2 now. <laughs> I'll tell you, if I'm on the hill, I'm throwing that changeup again. Didn't look like he picked it up very well out of his hand. And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four the strikeouts. Pitcher, Johnny Anderson. First pitch on its way. Ball. And that misses ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. That's a real good job of going back-to-back -back fastballs right there. Most of the time, a hitter will see a fastball in the inside half of the plate, and they'll just think, well, this pitcher's going to go back on the outside. But when you double up like he did right there, it sends a message to the hitter that you're not afraid to throw in that inner half of the plate. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Baltimore down to their final strike. 
Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. And they did some damage offensively in this one, enough to get the win, the and this man led the charge. Game. An all-star is queried by his agent about a major change. It's no surprise. This representative is very protective of his star client's interests. The player has no qualms with the move and only looks to contribute to his team's success. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, Matty, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. Hit out towards second. Frazier ranging up the middle, and a good throw gets him one gone. The next to bat for Atlanta, Joey Rickard. He now singled back. his last time the up. Right fielder. Oh, and no one the count. Fernandez is over to take a look. Mm, chased out of the zone there, and he's down two strikes. Hey, this offense needs to get it going right here. Somebody has to take it upon themselves to have a quality A-B and get this team to start thinking past the baton mentality. They cannot continue to go up there and look like they have no game plan. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Joey Rickard goes down, and they've got only one out left to work with. And they start him out away with a cold strike. behind 0-2 now. Two out, nobody on. Final strike for the Braves. And they'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1-2. and two. Still 1-2. and two. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Another one sent foul. Swing and he pops him up. Rosario into shallow left. But it's the third baseman who gets there to make the play. And this ball game is the over. It was A pitcher is encouraged to keep looking for improvement.
your attention, please. Into now the box, Manny the Pena. He comes in 0 Number for 2 16. thus far. Looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do, trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. Rosado is one of the few guys in the game today that utilize a true screwball in his repertoire. Sort of like a reverse slider, and it's a lot of fun to watch. And he'll take it game. to the bag himself Number for the 15. out. Matt. Adam. No contact on the sinker there, and he's behind 0-1. And he's a guy looking to break nope. out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, 2-1. The 2-2. Two -two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. And he lays off, ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. And that's inside for a ball, one and oh. And this one's too far inside, ball two. Boy, he just looks locked in at the plate right now to me. His numbers in recent games have been very good, and those were two stone-cold takes right there that put himself in a great hitter's count. And this will be swung on and bounced on the ground a second. One there, but wisely no thought of a return throw, and the inning will continue. Up next for Washington. Settling in now, Victor Robles, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Swing and a miss, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. Oh, wow, that's what they call it. Jam sandwich. Wow, not much you can do with that pitch that's in tight. And this ball swung on and hit to center field, and this should do it. And he'll put this one away for the final out. And the Mets will put the an end to their three-game skid as this well, ball game is over. Mets, Every game has its offensive stars, and in this one... Now with the play, Alan Hansen. He went down on strikes last time up. Number 16. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. First pitch sinker misses in on the hands that time. It's a ball and no strikes. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first now out here in the ninth. Tyler. First Dallas pitch of the at-bat. Pulled strike at the letters, 0-1. Now a 
swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Hernandez ranging into shallow right. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now to the plate, Aramis Garcia. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that's by him. It's 0-1. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. Hey, this boy ain't messing around right now. Attacking his zone, showing a lot of confidence in his stuff. He's got two quick... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that... Joas Nido will get the call here as he'll hit for the quick... So the lineup really helped carry them to victory here in this one. And this man was a big reason why. He's our top player the of the, the game. Ball game. He was one of a few the guys that New really York swung the bat Six well in this game. Franchi Cordero will get up off the bench to lead off the home half of the ninth. And they've certainly got their work cut out for them here, so he'll just need to work on getting a board. Now a fastball on the inside corner, and he takes a look at strike one. Rosado is one of the few guys in the game today that utilizes a true screwball in his repertoire. Sort of like a reverse slider, and it's a lot of fun to watch. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. The batter, number one. Good so the off. lineup flips over Three. and digging in. Not Willie coming. Adamas, last time. The one, base one, hit. One. Swing and a high chopper. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. So that'll bring in the outfielder, Booth Powell. Better two fielder. hits in four that's attempts that's to this point. One ball, Powell. no strikes to count. A ball and a strike. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Reed waits on it. Two, two gone. Two, two. Oh, no, no. No. Here's Manny Machado now. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out Manny. here in the ninth. No balls and one strike. Machado. A ball and a strike now to Machado. Adamas leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. San Diego down to their final Whoa, strike. Close, but it's not over yet. That's ball two. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over.
player receives the check-in from one of his coaches. Alexander Healy. Healy. He was retired via the ground ball Number last time 16. up. And that misses for ball one. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. Swing and a miss on the sinker, and it's one and two. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. It's the depth of a sinker. Sometimes it's a matter of whether or not it's moving east-west, but that one right there had such good downward action. Great pitch. 3-2 pitch. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Now batting. Ready with the, the first pitch. Here it comes. A high Whoa. fastball oh, is in there. Ball one. Missed low and inside with it. One and one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Calling for it. Here he is. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Digging in now, Ryan Costa has got three hits, including a double to this point. Mm, a little tardy there, no balls and a strike. One and one, now the count to the Marlins' first baseman. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. To two and two now. I think he'll be frustrated with himself about that swing. He was in a good hitter's counted. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do. Well, we've talked about his dominance all throughout the game, and he ended up finishing you know, what he started. A complete game shutout. Your attention, please. Alex Healy, the next to bat. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat. And that's high for a ball, 1 0. Count even now at 1 1. The 1 1 is a ball down and away. Anderson over at second. O'Brien on at first with two down. And this crowd wasn't all that big, but they've stuck around to the final out. Still even at two and two. Miami down to their last strike. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, the lineup was clicking for him in this contest, and the man you see there was a...
your attention, please. Leading off the inning, Eric Fedor, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Somebody needs to go rattle the cage right here. Take the bats and start throwing them all over the dugout to get these boys going. If this continues, I guarantee you, you see a different lineup tomorrow. Rosado is one of the few guys in the game today that utilizes a true screwball in his repertoire. Sort of like a reverse slider, and it's a lot of fun to watch. Love the execution of that changeup, but hats off to the guy at the plate right now. That's a great take in this situation. Maybe bought himself a fastball. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. The center fielder. Up next five. will be Nick Williams. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this go. point. And a fastball's in there for strike one. And oh, here's oh, a pitch what? swung on and grounded toward Rosario. It's short. On to first, and they're an out away. Two gone here in the ninth. First pitch now of the at bat on Third its way. Right. Swing right and a miss, 0 and 1. Rumpko. Hey, you can tell by the look on that manager's face, he's obviously frustrated right now. But it's a long season. You're going to have a lot of swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, we watched a really solid starting pitching performance, the kept the opposition the at bay, game. and as a result, he's Jordan, our top. Your attention, please. So now, now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Kyle Schwarber. Number He's 16. working on a one-for-two game so far. <laughs> Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing and one. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Sweeney ranging back. At the track, on the warning track, he makes the catch. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. One ball, no strikes to count. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Two and two to the Cubs catcher. Hey, that's a well-executed fastball right there at the bottom of the zone. If he stays there all day, it's going to make for a long day for the offense. Unless they're willing to bend their legs and get down and create some different launch angle, he's on point right now. Line hard to the left side, but this is a foul ball. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Frazier fields it cleanly. Throw on to first is going to be in time to get him. And the Mets have the taken the rubber match.
ladies and gentlemen, your attention Stepping please. into the box, now, Yonder Alonso. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Muriel comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Up next for Chicago, Jan Gomes. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. The windup and the 0-1. Swung on and missed. Man, when you're struggling at the plate, that pitcher smells blood in the water. He's coming right after you, trying to end it quick. Struck him out. Will Frazier will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 77, Clint Frazier. Here's a cold strike about thigh high, nothing in one. The batting average down in the low two tens. Six home runs, and he's driven in 24. And there's a cold strike two, as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. The White Sox down to their last strike. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. The next 0-2 misses, and that'll move it to 1-2 and two now. Well, you don't want to get caught looking for the final out. That's a tough pitch to lay off. Impressive that he did. Just hung in there on that one. And now this crowd right around 34,000 fans comes to their feet. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. So we witnessed a close one here. But Ladies and gentlemen, your attention. Stepping please. in for the Cardinals, now, DJ LeMayhew. He looked to bounce back after Number striking 16. out his last time up. <laughs> Here's the first pitch to him. And he takes ball one. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Oh. You'll hear me say this time after time up here in the booth. You fight so hard to get into these counts. 1-0, 2-0, 3-1. They don't happen often. This is a huge spot. Count leverage. Look for him to get loose on a fastball right here. Called strike two. Two, two. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite you. Now a ball lined to the left side. And he dives, but he can't make the play. It lands foul. Three two pitch. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. The left fielder, number 25. Nowhere oh, close with the fastball to begin the at bat. It's ball one. This is where he might need a mound visit, whether it be from the shortstop, his pitching coach, or the catcher. These last couple of pitches have certainly gotten away from him. In there, one and two now. LeMahieu gets his lead at first, nobody out. 
That's to two ball. balls and two strikes two now. Two strikes. The 2-2. Two -two. Just hung in there on that one. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Here's Matt Carpenter. They'll be looking for something. He could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Breaking ball drops right in the chute for a strike. Well, and he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. Hey, that's a really good pitch right there. And that's one of those off-balance swings. As a pitcher, you want to look in and say, howdy, if you're waving at me. A real ugly swing, and it gives you a lot of confidence when you make a guy look that bad. So hopefully he has another pitch left in his repertoire to bury this guy and get him out of there. High and deep to right. Heredia racing back. It's out of here, and they've taken the lead in the night. Santa Maria. Now batting. Number six in there. 0-1. Oh, one. one out, nobody on. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 oh, now. Man, you find yourself down 0-2 after two great executed pitches right there. Got to look for something up. Might have to tip your hat if he can stay down below the knees like that. And another foul ball. The windup and the 0-2 oh, pitch. Fly ball right down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Hey, I'm biased to the hitter right now. Keep frustrating that pitcher. Foul 12 of these things off. He's going to miss over the heart of the plate at some point. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Way late on the fastball for strike one. Yeah, Matty, he's very late on that first pitch. I, I, I got to think he was guessing off speed. And on 0-2, oh. he misses with a fastball. 0-2 pitch, not even close to the zone, oh, and a fastball might be an indication that he's going to start using some of his secondary oh, pitches. Struck him out. And this man right here certainly did his part here this evening. A skipper appeals to his players to demonstrate some resilience and how they finish a rough season. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. Hey, it's never easy scoring runs against a closer, but this lineup is setting up perfectly right now as the hitter leads off this inning. Fernandez comes up with it, and he'll take this to the bag himself. One gone here in the ninth. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Colorado. Paul Wine. Third baseman. Bases are empty. One man out. 
Tifo. Fastball at 94 miles an hour, and it's one and one. The one two is taken for ball two. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Now back. First pitch Second of the at bat pitch. on its way. Shooter. Popped him up. Madero over to his right. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Well, the man you see right there had a game to be proud of. He really the came through when it mattered. And he's our And now Bryce Harper. The New York Mets. Number 16. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. And he makes the throw to first. Harper is retired, and there's one away. Up next for Philadelphia. Hit hard to short. Rosario brings it in. And there are two away now. At the plate, Eric Fedor. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. There's that circle change of his, but it's outside for ball one. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Just got the corner that time with a fastball. Strike two. And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can. And guys, a very important outing turned in on the mound for the man you see right there. Your Malik Smith please. will get a shot here as a pinch hitter. Number zero. 
not left. And this is oh. taken outside for ball one. Yeah. Inside, okay. and he falls behind the hitter now, 2-0. and oh. You'll hear me say this time after time up here in the booth. You fight so hard to get into these counts. 1-0, 2-0, 3-1. They don't happen often. This is a huge spot. Count leverage. Look for him to get loose on a fastball right here. But quick reactions at the hot corner take away a hit, and there's one gone. The batter number seven. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Dansby Swanson. He's 0 for 3 so far, so he hasn't done much to help at the top of the lineup. A ball and a strike now to the Atlanta leadoff man. And here's a pitch swung on and grounded toward Rosario at short on the first, and that means the Braves are now down to their final out. Stepping up now, Rafael Ortega, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. And this is swung on and missed, so now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. And he gets strike three called to end it here, and with that, this one is over. Starting pitching, so obviously important to a team. an early winter check-in. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention. And now it'll be the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Reese Hoskins. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. Count even at two and two. Here now the 2-2. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. The 2-2 one more time. And another foul ball. Ready with another 2-2. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. 
the third baseman. Number Ready seven. once again, Mike Michael Franco. And he's Franco. looking to add on to his two RBI game from earlier. Nope. There's the sinker to start him out, missing down and away for ball one. Now it's 2-0. and oh. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as, yes, he did. It's ruled a strike. Balls up! Balls up! Popped him up. Rosado is there for it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Bring up a lead Miss Diaz. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the night. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. One and one. This is the big out to get right here. This is their best hitter. He's a great hitter, and he's a guy that kind of spark plug. He gets this team going. So if I'm on the mound right now, you really want to try to get this guy out to hopefully keep them from getting a swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, the man you see right there had a game to be proud the of. He really came through when it mattered, and he's our top player of the game. New York Mets. Yeah, no question. He was a tough no out up there. Ended up collecting three knocks in including a home run. So without him in the lineup, I think this might have... Your attention, please. Trying to pick things up where we left off. JT Real Muto. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan, d what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Two, two, yeah, just non-competitive pitches two, in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, d one of the things about pitching is you want to have location. And it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point. And what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. That's just a great pitch right there. Great execution. He just got that hitter to think that pitch was knee-high. Nasty diving out of the zone. A ball and two strikes now. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at 2-2. Two and, two. and this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. And he popped him up. And this is going to find a seam for extra bases. And we'll see if they want to wave home that tying run. Oh, but he's able to stay with it nicely and get his man for the first out. Number two. Down and in here, one ball, no strike. Rosado is one of the few guys in the game today that utilizes a true screwball in his repertoire. Sort of like a reverse slider, and it's a lot of fun to watch. Back to first, it's a double play right when he needed it, and this ball game is over.
your attention, please. Coming now, to the plate now, the Eric Fedor. No Number hits in three 60. tries so far. He struck oh. out once. Ball one to start the at-bat. In That's tight one. with the sinker. Ball two. No Don't expect this pitcher to throw something oh. over the heart of the plate. He's going to have to stay on the corners right here. Huge spot in this game. Do not miss over the heart and get beat. Digging in now for the Philadelphia. Right Bryce three. Harper hoping to build Five. off that RBI double from Four his three. last plate appearance. Clearly off with his timing on that one. A swinging strike. Harper behind with an 0 and 2 count now. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Three. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. This offense is going to have to find a way to get going. It's happened in the past. Every team goes through it where everyone seems to fall into a funk at the same time. Everyone needs to relax and not try and be the hero and just start getting the leadoff guy on. The 2-1. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Philly down to their last strike. I know he fouled that pitch off right there, but he was definitely out in front. He was cheating to a heater, no question about it. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Not a lot of runs put on the board in this one, but here's a guy that...